Hey folks, just a quick video of Angron uh, for Hazard Syndrome's 1000 subscribers competition. I'll upload a more detailed video to my channel over the next couple of days once I have a little bit more time uh, and also once I've finished off the weathering powders and stuff like that. Um, so this is just a quick quick video uh, just to finish in time for the competition deadline which is this evening and uh, to show you the progress which I've been making. So I've used a range of different techniques for doing the sort of brass armour. Uh, I started off with a mixture of um, Vallejo Bright Brass and Dwarf Bronze from GW. Um, that formed the base coat which I then did uh, some dry brushes of Bright Brass and uh, Chainmail over top and then I went back through with a few different layers of glazes and washes uh, to get the, um, the sort of shading and stuff in place. Uh, the result was quite a monochrome effect on the armor and then I've just used the uh, the red and sort of leather and stuff just to uh, pop the colors a little bit more. Uh, the base has been made out of some sand, uh, putty and then uh, some bits of plastic card and cabling and stuff like that. So, as you've been able to see on my previous videos and the green stuff photos I'm going to put at the end of this, uh, there's been an awful lot of uh, sculpting work in this model. Uh, nothing on the model is stock standard. Um, everything's been converted, including the chain axes and everything else. And then the fur on the back of the the back of the cloak has all been sculpted in as well. And some lengths of modeling chain uh, with the skulls and stuff like that. And then I've used parts from the Forge World Forge World Etch Brass uh, pre heresy world eaters to get in and do some of the um, some of the world eater symbols and stuff. Um, the face has been painted using uh, my method of a base coat, uh, then some crimson washes and violet washes, and then re-highlighting back. And you'll see in behind his head, uh, you've got sort of that uh, dreadlock effect of the power cables and such, um, and that little sort of red arrow on the top. So I'm really happy with how this guy is turning out. Um, it's nice to have them pretty much fully painted. As I said, I still need to do the weathering powders and stuff, uh, but I'll get that done this weekend. So thanks for watching, folks, and uh, good luck to everyone else who's entering the competition. Cheers.